hello guys so today we are here to first of all understand that how we can write our programs in windows environment using the simple command prompt okay so we'll write our program in a notepad and we'll run our program in the command prompt for a beginner this is the best way to start c programming so let's get started guys so as you can see and on the screen we have on the left side the command prompt and on the right side we have notepad plus plus instead of notepad plus plus you can use any other software there is no issue there but i recommend to use a notepad you can use any notepad okay so now let's try to write a program and run and see that how we are getting the output so first of all let's <clears throat> go to the command prompt and let's choose the folder where we'll save our file so what i have chosen is i have taken e drive as my location where i'll be creating a folder and saving my file so as you can see i am now in the c drive so if you directly want to jump to e drive just write there e and colon and you hit enter so you can see we are directly able to jump from c drive to e drive now in e drive i'll first of all create a directory so for that the command is mkdir and i am creating a directory named as c program c r p c p r o g so you can see when i am hitting enter i am getting then prompt once more means successfully the folder has been created okay now with the help of cd command that is change directory command i will go to my the created directory that is c p r o g c program so you can see i am now successfully inside c p r o g now if i do dir here you can see there is no folder or file present here okay so what i will do i'll first of all create the file so i'm going to the notepad plus plus i'm writing their file i'm clicking on the file i'm going to the new option and i'm now saving first of all this file so i'm, I'm clicking on the option save as and i'm moving to e drive and e drive i'm going to find the folder named as cprog which is present here you can check it out and inside this i'm going to create the file so let's suppose our file name is test001.c this is very important if you don't write .c your file will not be saved as a c file it will be saved as a simple text file and that won't be executed okay keep that in mind guys so now hit save button and now we are in the c uh the file which we created that is test001.c and let's write the simplest program that is hello world program so has has include stdio.h you know that this is the standard header file if you don't know don't worry we'll discuss about this in this coming upcoming videos now i'll create the function that is void main and in that main function i'll just write a simple function that is print hello world so for that the function is predefined function is printf and in this we will be writing the message hello world you can write whatever message you want after writing the message you have to just save it and while you are saving a small tip i am giving you on top can you see at the location e there is a star mark here can you see that that star mark shows that you have not yet saved the file see when i will be clicking file i'll click on the save button you can observe that star mark goes have you observed guys so that star mark is important so before compiling the program make sure that there is no star mark there okay now our program is saved now let's again go and write the dir command and let's see whether the file is actually created or not so you can see guys the file is created yes or no fine now once the file is created and we have already written the program now it's time to run the program so first stage is we have to compile the program and for that we are using the gcc compiler okay and in the next phase i'll explain you that how we will install the gcc compiler and it will help us to run our program from the command prompt so we'll write gcc we'll write the file name so file name is test001.c and we'll create the executable file here by writing hyphen o and i will write a name for the executable file so i am making a small uh, trend that 
keep the executable file name and the and the C file name same. Let's suppose next you are creating test 002.c, then the executable file name will be test 002. Okay, so it will be easy for me to find out later on that which program I have to execute. So you can see after writing this, I'll just press enter. And if there is no mistake, I'll get the prompt once more. And as I have successfully got the prompt, it means my file has been, my C program has been actually executed successfully. Okay. Let's do DIR once more and see whether an executable file is created or not. Yeah, see it's created. I can just highlight and show you. Check it out guys. It's created here. Yes or no? So it's time now to execute and run the program. So our first phase is over. We have already compiled the program. Now let's run the program. So I'll write here, just write the executable file name and you hit enter. And you can see the hello world message has come here. Can you observe here guys? Clear? So I hope now you are able to understand how you will be writing your program and executing your program in the command prompt in Windows environment. Clear guys? So now let's try to understand how we will be installing the Minji W C++ downloader and Notepad++ in our Windows environment and make the complete setup to run the program which we just discussed before. Okay. So this is the location or the link which you will be using to download the Minji W C++ downloader. This link I'll drop below. You can check it out. So once you hit and open this, this option, you will see there is a downloading option. Click Minji W. So when you click on this, it will open the sourceforge.net website and there you will get the option to download the latest version. So click on it. Once you click on it, just wait for some time and you will observe the downloading has started. You can check it out. It's started. Yes or no? So once the downloading has completed, we'll go and install it. And I'll just show you in this website itself, each and every step of installation and execution and everything is given here. So I'm actually going to explain you the complete explanation which is given here. Okay. So let's do it guys. So I have already saved all the uh, important files like minji w get setup file and the notepad notepad plus plus software these are the two things which we are going to install so first of all we'll install the minji w setup so we'll click we'll do double click and we'll install it so we'll click on the install button you can see this is getting installed in c drive slash minji w if you want you can change it also but I'm not changing it. Click on the continue button. It will take some time to download all the stuff. We'll wait and see how much time it is taking. I'm sure it will not take long time. It totally depends upon your internet. Make sure that when it's continue button is getting highlighted here, the process number of items and the items present here should be same so let's see how much time it is taking yeah see guys so 113 is items is processed so you can see continue item is continue option has come here we'll click on that and now this is the place where we have to download the gcc compiler so for that we will be downloading three things that is first one is minji 32 base so here is a small trick in this when you click on this, it will ask for mark for installation. So you have to click on that mark for installation. Next, we, we actually don't have to download all of them. So next we'll be selecting uh, Minji W 
the main compiler that is GNU C++ compiler and you will also select the third one that is MSYS base. After selecting all of them, you click on the installation button, click on the update catalog and click on the review changes. The review changes will come up and will show you that whatever you have, whatever you have selected and don't you don't be just wait a lot of time just click on the apply button once you click on the apply button now this is the time where you have to sit and wait the complete installation once this is completely done your mingw software will be installed and let's go and see also in the c drive whether that is getting downloaded or not so you can see the folder mingw is getting created here and in this all the stuff is getting copied okay so this is the location where your mingw software is getting saved okay so we'll just go and wait for the mingw to work it will take some time guys okay so wait and once this is completely done we'll proceed forward so you can see the extraction is now going on once the extraction is completed, you will observe the successful message coming up. After that, we can proceed forward. Okay, guys, now see all changes were applied successfully and you may now close the dialog. So it shows that whatever we had selected that all is done. So we'll close it. And we'll then finally close this also. And you can observe whatever we have selected that has been now executed and installed. Now, once this is done, we can close it and it shows that our mingw folder has got all the stuff. We can even go to the library and we can check out whether our the complete software is installed or not. And in the bin, you can check it out and you can see the GCC compiler is present there. Okay, so this shows that everything is installed successfully and now it's time to connect our compiler with the command prompt. Now we'll link our mingw folder with the command prompt. Just do right click here in the my computer, go to the properties and in the properties section, you just click on the advanced system settings. Okay. Now in different OS, let's suppose Windows 7 is there, then you may find it in a different way. But whatever with the way is there, you have to find out the environment variable option in the system properties. Now, when you open this environment variable option in the system variable section, you can search for path and in this path, you have to just click and edit it. And here we have to set the location of our GCC compiler. Okay. So if you look carefully, our GCC compiler was present in C drive <coughs> in mingw folder inside the bin. Yes or no? So this is the GCC compiler present here. So you'll take this complete location and you will just paste it there. That's all. So you can just click on new and you can just paste it here. Control V. Press OK. Again, you hit OK. And here you can again hit OK. And the system variable is set. <clears throat> In order to again check it whether the system variable is set or not, let's open the command prompt. So for that, I'll write here CMD and always open the command prompt in the administrative mode okay now after opening the command prompt what we'll do we'll just write here gcc hyphen hyphen version v e r s i o n and hit enter if it is installed and connected successfully then you will observe that we are getting the version as well okay and this shows that the GCC compiler is successfully linked with the command prompt. Okay. Now, once this is done, you are now free to run the program. And what you will do, you can just quickly uh, set your screen by setting half a screen as command prompt. And next, you can install the uh, you can install what the Notepad plus plus. So that is very simple. You can just directly uh click on do double click and it will take very easy way that's just 
do next and next and you will be able to install the notepad plus plus so you can see the notepad plus plus is installed we will run it and we'll open it so you can see it is already opened up and you can see this is the first program which we have written if you remember <coughs> so we'll <coughs> we'll, op we'll set our screen so if you just remember in the first place we have started from here itself yes or no we move to e drive and we wrote our first program that's it guys we'll see and we'll run the program once more and see whether you are able to do it or not so we'll quickly go to the dir and we'll move to uh, c proc folder which we had created if you remember clear guys now inside this folder we'll try to just run the program and see we are getting the output or not so we'll write here gcc we'll write the file name hyphen o and we'll keep the same name as we had kept last time we'll hit enter if everything is okay we'll get the prompt once more and then we will just write the exe file and we'll press enter and you can see we have got the hello world output yes or no guys so i hope everyone will now try and follow all the steps still if you're stuck anywhere please comment me i'll help you and explain that your issues